Okay, today we're going to talk about the Rottweiler Performance uh, EVAP System Canister Delete. So, as you can see, I've already started kind of working on that a little bit. Here's the bike right now. Got it torn down. Rear uh, pillion seat and front seat's all gone. Uh, that process is very easy. Took the plastics off. No big deal. Leaving the ECU attached because... I don't want to do an idle relearn and uh, took the bolts off one, two. Now this is the canister right here. And there's also a solenoid inside of there as well, which I'll show you here in a little bit. The kit comes with a cap. So you cap that line off, which goes up to the tank. And uh, there's also an overflow, which can act as a vent as well. So for the Duke, I don't foresee it being a big problem. Uh, and that's already a line that's already fitted already, so no big deal. Now if you look here, this line that I capped actually went to this Y fitting here. And then this is the canister. You have this line here, which goes in through here. And it goes to the purge valve, which we'll look at. There's this bottom vent, and then you have this hose here. This hose is a basically a blanked off hose right here. So I'll cut that, pull that out. <clears throat> now, if you do remove this, you'll be able to gain access. And right down in here. So in this area, you'll have Right there, there's a 10 mil bolt, and there's a 10 mil uh, nut behind that. So you'll need to undo that, and that will allow you to gain access to that bracket. That bracket holds it. Purge solenoid itself basically goes over and slots into the top of that. No big deal. Now, as you can see here, there is right there. This is it. I uh, disconnected the electrical connector for it. Right there. There's a hose that goes down the side. I'll show you where that's at real quick. In fact, we can go ahead and remove that. I just need to grab some pliers. So, Right down inside of here, there it is, right there, there's a hose. Yep, that hose right there is the hose that pulls a suction from the intake. You'll go ahead and remove that. Let's see if we can just pull this hose off. Okay, that slides out. And then there is a small little fitting right there. And if I suspect that we will be capping that off. There's not a lot of instructions on this, unfortunately. So let's see if we can pull this out. I'm going to set this down real quick. Okay, and then what we are going to do is we are going to remove that hose. Now what you can do, these hose clamps are pretty tight. Once you get the hoses off them or the hose clamps off themselves, what you can do is you can take some pliers and, uh, and actually twist them against the hose. Man, this one's pretty freaking tough.
Okay. I don't know if you heard that tinging sound. There's the hose clamp breaking. So we're gonna go with method two. That was very surprising. And we're just gonna cut it. All right, there's that. There's an electrical connector that goes in place right there. And now we can cut the zip tie. And remove it. So it's kind of under the tank. Okay, there's that part. Okay, and there's the rest of it. So, there's a bracket here, two eight mils. That's what holds it up. Just undo those two eight mils, and you're pretty much done with that part. And then from there, you have to plug in that guy. Basically a resistor that fools the ECU into thinking that uh, everything's good in the neighborhood. Okay. Move this under. I know it. Go on this side. And here's that connector. Done. Take that off to the side. And then the last piece. Is going to be this block off right here. So now I'm going to undo that piece that's on the side there. Comes with a copper crush washer, I just need to grab it. And then uh, pull it off and once you do that, you're good. Whole system's blocked off and then you can get all that space back. Uh, a lot of people ask why. It is an absolute nightmare if you have to work on these things because that thing is in the way North American bikes are the only ones that seem to come with it. They're emission, it's a, emissions equipment. Um, but pretty easy process, no big deal. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask. All right, guys, that's it.